Welcome to Lexington, Kentucky, here in the Bluegrass State, where the hospitality flows freely. Home of the Kentucky Wildcats and the Big Blue Nation, ready for this collision today. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the statement of an environment, just trying to get out alive. This will be fun, as we'll see the number one team of the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on another team from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Away to get us going. And here's the return from inside the five. The returner loses the football deep in their own territory. The offense will begin now with excellent field position. Another example of taking care of the football and how big of a deal this is. Usually it's running backs in practice that are working overtime on ball security. But after this, next week, this returner might be in those drills too. Can't be trusted to return it when you can't hold on to the football. Incompletion sets up a second down. He'll hand it off. Stop right there at the line. No game. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. position but now it's third and long dropping back looking to throw for the first down let's it fly out of the wide out he's got it right near the end zone brought down just short of the end zone it'll be first and goal from the one boy how about to read here by this quarterback to find his open man and keep this drive moving great conversion and when you're in the red zone, you got to think about getting a touchdown. You want to come away with six points, and now they've got a shot to get it. It's a quarterback keeper, and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, they began with great field position, and that didn't take long at all, Kirk. Well, that's how you take advantage of an opportunity. Your defense sets you up in great field position. You're not looking for a field goal. You're looking for a touchdown. Give the credit to this offense for being aggressive and punching it in. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And it's 7 0 after the PAT. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Brown. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. His line getting set up. It's a first down play. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Brought down, but both could tackle to produce a solid game there. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action? Maybe throw the ball downfield? Here's the second down play. Dropping back, it's Vandegrift. And he's got his man open downfield. Breaks clear, end zone ahead. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Kentucky. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. The quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this. Good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day.
Now they line up to kick the extra point. And it's up and good. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or the defense come up with a stop? Well, let's give credit to the offensive line here. They went with a run blitz. The offensive line sees it, picks it up, gives them enough room to pick up some solid yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quick completion with the tight end. He's found some room with the 45. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. They've got him, but it's a huge game. They'll spot it about the 27th. So a positive play, Kirk, with the crossing route. This is the defensive communication the coaches were worried about in this game. Yeah, it really is a challenge in this call. When the offense goes with that deep crosser, the defense has to do a good job of communicating, really keeping their head on a swivel to understand who's coming into their zone. That time they just lost the receiver and they gave up a big game. Dropping back. It's back. Catch all in here over the middle. They bring him down, but a solid gain there in first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. The defense does a nice job of forcing the quarterback here to be patient by playing zone. They run a crossing route. Defense is there, but not able to break up the catch. Georgia now operating in the red zone. Looking for a gap. It's ETN. Good enough for first down yardage. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he was able to get downfield for the first down. Georgia setting up for the first and ten now. And they'll use the ground game here. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains. And runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And he drops back in the gun. He's got it near the end zone. And he scores. Touchdown, Georgia. Now the all-important extra point. The extra point is good, so it's 14-7. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. The Turner looking to make a play here. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So the counter play doesn't work. The defense in good position that time to make a play. 
You know, in most of these counters, you leave the in man on the line of scrimmage unblocked and you try to pull those offensive linemen to kick him out. But if you have an aggressive defense, sometimes that can backfire. And the defense knew exactly what was coming there. To the air, it's Vandegrift. Running back grabs it on a screen. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. Well, it seems like a screen pass is either feast or famine. You either completely fool the defense and you've got a lot of room to run behind a convoy of blockers, or there's just nowhere to go and the play gets blown up as we see here. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Well, the screen doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he could get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the stems. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. With the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Trying to find some room. It's ETN. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. One of those critical third down plays coming up. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Love It. Brought down at the 46, good enough for a first down. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. Second down after that run on the previous play. Offense flinching before the snap. That'll cost him five. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Scanning the field. It's back. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid gain for a first down. Boy, this is great execution here on this screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. And I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Off the play fake on first down. He'll take a deep shot. But this one is broken up and falls incomplete. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Snags with quick throw. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. How many first downs is that on the stride? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Hands off to the left. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. 
And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. And it's incomplete. He just missed his target, overthrowing it. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. You've got to make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? Now, with the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Running out of time in the pocket. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure works. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So you're on fourth down. Out comes the field goal team. The attempt is no good. He missed it. And after the miss, it's still a seven-point lead. Man, I thought he hit that pretty clean. Good hold by the holder. Everything looked to be the way you'd like as a kicker. He just misses it, and the ball trailed on him and ends up hitting the upright. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try the option play here. Pitch to the back. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark. Inches away. Positive yards, that's all you want to see as an offense. As long as you're moving the ball forward, it's going to give you a chance to continue to get first downs. What are they looking at now? Third and in inches, it looks like. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Can he get there on the ground? Looks like Kentucky will have the first down. Love the call here to get the ball to the edge, give it to a talented skilled player where he can get to the outside, find some room, and get a first down. First and ten play coming up. Looking for some space. It's Trano. Solid game. Moves the ball to the 37. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground. And you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quick throw caught on the left side. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Just a really good job by the corner here, recognizing this wide receiver screen. Because he was so quick to react, when the receiver makes the catch, he's right there to make that tackle. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. So after the momentum shifts, Kirk, we are now dead even in this football game. Chris, doesn't it have that feeling that which quarterback's going to have the ball last? It's going to be the offense and the guy that has a chance to win this game. Maybe going back and forth all game. And now here comes the point after attempt. And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job on the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. 
No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. They start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. The ball carrier running through tackles. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. One play, and they're already past the 40, first and 10. Going to run it. It's ETN. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. Important second down play coming up. Off target and incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Back to throw is Speck. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, dogs. What a well-designed play here by this offense to get the ball to the gifted tight end. Of course, he's got the size, but here he shows you the speed that he has in outrunning the secondary into the end zone for a big touchdown. Extra point try coming now. PAT puts him in front by seven. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Return starts from inside the five. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. Tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. The defense there showed incredible discipline on the backside contain. And that reverse wasn't going anywhere. Just textbook. So back to their own nine-yard line at second and long. On the ground, it's Trainum. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get him down. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big gain. Kentucky getting set with a first and ten coming up. Looking downfield, it's Vandegriff. Close to the tight end. He's got a man down the middle. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. This Kentucky offense is quickly moving down the field. Offense will keep it on the ground here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Tay, this defense continues to just be physical 
into line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Quick pass, the catch is made. And the pickup is just three yards. Now it's third down and seven. I love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards. I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Dropping back. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Kentucky. <laughs> this receiver is putting on a show today. That is three trips to the end zone already. And based on how this defense is playing against him, this may not be the last time we see him in the end zone today. Here's the point after attempt. And there's the point after. Now they get set to kick it away. Bring it out. It's Bell. Look at him run through those tacklers. They stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. A little bit of my turn, your turn. So far in the early going, both offenses scoring touchdowns in their last possessions. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Great execution on the RPO. Quarterback does a nice job as he's putting the ball into the belly of the back, making sure to read his key. This defense was determined. They came up to stop the run. Quarterback saw it, pulled it out, hit the quick slant right behind it for some great yards. Grab behind the line. It's Love it. And the defense smothers him for no gain. I love the call here with the wide receiver screen. Where's he going to go? The blockers do not do their job and open up any running lanes at all. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Looking to throw. It's back. Receiver makes the catch. Stopped at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Would never underestimate a defensive lineman's ability to play the passing lanes. Smart defensive linemen keep an eye on the quarterback, and if they see the ball coming out, they're able to get those big, long arms up and try to get a piece of it. And the wideout goes in motion. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. And he pulls in the catch. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. I feel like this quarterback can make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork. A cruel route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing, is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. He pulls it in for a big game. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. Now that's how you execute. I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after that big play, I'm all about taking a shot right to the end zone here. Georgia setting up for the first and ten now. The ball is handed off out of the shotgun. 
Well, the back has been busy, but very little to show for it tonight. That defense has been all over the running game. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Second down after that previous play. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, it's back. Let's it go quickly. Pass caught. Can he get in? Tackled at the five-yard line. Now it's first and goal right there. Well, you talk about a huge conversion. That's third and long. It doesn't matter for these guys. They just keep going about their business. Great connection between this quarterback and receiver on that one. And now they're in business. The dogs looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. First and goal. Handoff. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. You know, the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line. You love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. Second down and goal. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a call with a play action down inside the five-yard line. Completely froze the defense. Their eyes are in the backfield, locked in on the quarterback. They lost focus on where he might be throwing the football. Made an easy read for the quarterback and a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive. Right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's Vandegrift. Looking to set up a screen pass here. They bring him down, but no before he gains first down yardage. It's so easy to get caught up on the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Getting set. Here's second down. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. Gets past the tackler into open space now. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. Well, you talk about a dream performance by this guy. That's his fourth receiving touchdown of this game. We knew he'd have chances to make plays, but I don't think anybody expected four touchdowns.
Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And it's good. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. We have a shootout developing here. Each offense scoring touchdown on their last possession. Play action here on first down. Fires it to the wideout. Grab down the middle. It's Thomas. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. I really like the throw here, Chris, but the fake off the play action was just as effective. You saw the second level defenders freeze for a split second, and that helps open those passing windows. Game moves the ball to the 43. First down coming up. They'll run it from the gun. He's past the marker and still going. He's brought down, but a solid game moves the ball across midfield to the 41. With great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, no Sean Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Georgia backs. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? A change of direction. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. Back to pass. It's back. Cut quickly. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Georgia has moved into the red zone. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of the running back. That's going to bring up third down. God, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. The second down incompletion sets up third and inches. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. No problem. Knocks it right through. And they jump back in front. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. the field goal the kickoff team is out there now well he thought about coming out but instead takes a knee to bring the football to the 25 yard line and the Kentucky offense is back out on the field first play of the drive they come out throwing well it's been an entertaining first half not much time remaining to cut into this lead it's incomplete he was hit as he threw good pass rush there on first down well, this quarterback's having one of those games you just dream about. A lot of yards and a lot of touchdown passes. And in fact, he had open receivers again for another big play. The defense finally got pressure on him, or I think it would have been potentially another touchdown. 
bringing nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. I felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look, and they'll make an adjustment before this important play. Punt team ready to boot it away. On the return, it's Evans. Returner tackle right there. That's when we'll start the drive. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Offense has been the story of this first half. Both offenses going up and down the field as the defenses search for answers. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Pass complete. It's second down now. Looking to pass. It's back. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. And now they'll set up for the point after. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. And on the carry, he's heading left. Defense able to stop the ball carrier there. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. The kickoff team out there now to get this second half underway. The turn begins inside the 10. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Breaking free at the 35. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. Inside the 10. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, dogs. What a touchdown. Anytime you see a play go for that many yards, everything has to come together. The offensive line did their job. The running back's vision and instincts and speed. And the play caller setting up the perfect personnel group, formation, and play call. It all came together, and they get the big score. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT puts them up 17 now. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. It's an option look. He'll toss it to the back. 
And the defense is there to smother him. They were all over the option play that time. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. After the first down loss, it's second and long from the 17. Scanning the field, it's Vandegrift looking for the wideout. He makes the grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. Ooh, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curl against man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-ones. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And here's the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. It's a quick grab. Tackle is made just a short gain after the completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Urgency now for the offense. They hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Using his legs, it's Trainum. This one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. It didn't take long to reach the end zone last time. A perfectly blocked running play. Can they keep it going here? And the run moves the ball up to the 33. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Offense getting set. It's second down. Obvious false start there, moving too early. Second down play coming up. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. And the quarterback keeps it here. And the runner brought down after just a short game. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. But give them credit, they didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. How impressive have these guys been up front today. Big third down. Know what you need to do. Get the first down. Continue to hold on to that lead. Continue to work clock and get that much closer to securing a victory. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. On first and 10, looking to throw. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him. A great execution on the screen pass. Fooled the defense there. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. And the Bulldogs are moving quickly down the field. Back in motion now. Looking to throw it on first down. Makes a quick grab. The slant may look like an easy play to defend, but it can be really tough, especially against man coverage, without any help to the inside. If you're the offense and you continue to see that man coverage, they might as well just keep attacking just like that. And completion makes it second and short. Here comes the handoff. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. 
First down and 10. Pre snap motion from the receiver. On first down, it's play action. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And this one is getting ugly. And a touchdown to the big tight end. We're seeing it more and more on Saturdays and Sundays, Kirk. Well, the tight end saying, hey, guys, don't forget about me. Don't forget I'm a pretty good player, too. All the attention being put on the wide receivers out on the perimeter is going to make this defense have to focus on the interior, making sure where that tight end is and trying to slow him down. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Using his legs, it's Trainum. Really smart play call. Anytime you can use the defense's aggression against them, you do it. And eventually, you'll catch them out of position and potentially hit a big play. Game makes it second and medium. Looking downfield, it's Vandegrift. Makes a quick catch. And they wrap him up, but the game is good enough for a first down. Oh, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Fires it to the wideout. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. The offense really clicking against this embattled defense. Snags a quick throw. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. That one hurts. Backs him up 10 yards. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Looking to throw yet again. Makes the catch. It's Brown. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Chris, it just feels like the offense is almost teasing the defense with this play. As an offensive coordinator quarterback, you're often looking for that soft spot in the zone. And here, they do a nice job of finding that hole for a nice game. Dropping back, it's Vandegrift. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no game. When the defense had everything covered downfield, the quarterback tries to check it down, but how about the defensive speed to be able to sniff that out? Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. From the shotgun, drops back. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? They bring the punter onto the field now. 
And the punt flies out of bounds. They'll spot this around the 25-yard line. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group has been rolling up double digits at halftime. They've just built on that lead here in the second half. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Cut quickly. They get him down pretty quickly, but it's a solid gain on that short throw. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Second down play coming up for this offense. And there's the handoff. Great cut there. Good enough for a fresh set of downs. They'll spot the ball at the 40. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. First down and 10 now. Tailback with another carry. That's the spin move. He's brought down out at the 46. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. We'll give it to the running back. The soft were able to bring him down quickly. play for this offense and the quarterback keeps it on the option to get him at the 42 good enough for a first down Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense it puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away this time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. So much pressure on the defense against the RPO because you're always going to be wrong if it's executed correctly. Here, they were determined to stop the run. The problem is, you leave yourself vulnerable to a throw into a flat. The right flat's open, the quarterback makes the right throw. And look at these yards. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. Alexa sent out the field goal unit. This will be a 50-yard attempt to see if he's got the leg. And that one is no good. And the margin remains 24, still a three-score game. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. comes the Kentucky offense back out there. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? Ball handed off. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. to throw it's Vandegrift 
Quick throw to his receiver. As complete downfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Well, it's a great catch near the sideline and does a good job of getting that foot down to secure the catch. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. And the big numbers just continue to pile up for this quarterback. That's more than 400 passing yards in the game now, Kirk. Chris, this defense has tried everything to slow him down, and nothing has worked. Whether they play zone or man, they blitz to try to put pressure. Anything to get him out of his rhythm has not been able to work because of the way this guy's been able to read coverage and get the ball out of his hands quickly, and the results have been a monster day. Now it's second down here. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Play action fake, looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you just have too much time in your hands. You end up thinking way too much. It gets your hands a little shaky. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. The pass is intercepted. Look out. He's got some space. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They were up double digits at halftime, and they're just continuing to roll, building in the lead here in the second half. Picks up the first, looking for more. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. What a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. Movement here from the tight end. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. A handoff to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. But these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. They're going to run it here. Eludes a tackle. Finds room at the 30. Tackle is made, but it's a big gain. They'll move the ball to the 25-yard line. How about this call? Third down and 10. The whole world is expecting that they're going to throw the football. And instead, they go back to old reliable, the running back, 
hit some good blocks up front, and not only does he pick up 10 yards, look at this, huge yards on this play on third and long. Oh, a reverse. He shreds the tackle. The tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Well, the backside rules for a defense against the run are to check for the cutback, the counter, or reverse. That time they stayed home and were in perfect position. We were able to stop that reverse in its track. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Not a long return, but the important thing, the pink wipes out a scoring threat. The offense will take over from the 29. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. Looking for his big tight end. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Oh my gosh, they almost came up with another interception. They had a pick on the last drive. They're doing such a good job of baiting this quarterback into throwing the ball into coverage and then making a play on the ball. Let's see if they can keep this going. So second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw, it's Vandegrift. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break that that ball's not intercepted. So it's third and long from the 29. Defense figures to bring pressure here. Dropping back, he's going to throw for the first down. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Needs a completion here on fourth down. This will go incomplete and a turnover on downs. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Chris, I totally understand why they would go for this here at this point in the game. You're down by three scores. We're in the second half. They felt the pressure with the possession that they had, the field position that they had. They needed to make something happen. Unfortunately, not able to come through. Second down after that run on the previous play. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Quick throw out left, complete. They bring him down after a short gain there. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Try and muscle for the first down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down. Almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is it gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this and picking up that first down. So now on comes the field goal unit. This will be a 39-yard attempt. Knocks that one right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after building this big lead, they're set to kick it off. He'll return it from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. The last possession, they came up empty, went for it on fourth down in their end, and got stopped. 
Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Second down after the incompletion. Looking to pass. It's Vandegriff. Throws it to the right. He's got it for a big game. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Good job here to be able to get a foot down. That was awfully close to being out of bounds, but no, he's in. The offense really clicking here. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. To the left side, but incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Here's the second down play. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Catch is made down the middle. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. This guy's throwing for yards every single time he drops back to throw. Believe it or not, he's closing in on almost 450 yards passing in this game. This Kentucky offense is quickly moving down the field. Back to throw again. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Grab down the middle. It's Brown. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, Kentucky. You can tell that this play caller, the offense coordinator, he's thinking about the future. He wants to see how his quarterback and how this offense wants to compete when this game's out of reach. He's going to be very happy with the result of this one. Now the try here for the extra point. And the PAT is good. to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This has been a dominant performance so far. Up double digits at the break, building on the lead here in the second half. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. A game makes it second and medium. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Zero running room. Stop right at the line of scrimmage. That's a great play all around by this defense. Their first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Heading left after the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Now the defensive coordinator must be thinking it's about time. This running back has just destroyed this defense. And this time they're able to get into that backfield and come up with a nice play. The Bulldogs will line up to put it away. The fair catch made at the 30 yard line. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? Catch made on the out route. Then he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield. And let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. 
Back to pass. It's Vandegrift. Quick catch over the middle. He stopped him at the 49, and that'll be a first down. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Passes caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Kentucky getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here's the snap, looking to throw. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play, brings up second down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. Incomplete, second down coming up. Here's the snap, quarterback looking to throw. Makes the catch, can he get in? Touchdown, Wildcats. It was a foot race and he won it. That's just nice execution. Quarterback and receiver Kirk perfectly in sync that time. Yeah, you can see why route running is one of the most underrated attributes of a receiver. It's easy to get caught up on their ability to catch or their vertical or their speed, but nothing substitutes for someone who can create separation like this before the ball is even thrown. Point after, up and good. Seem able to make the crucial recovery. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. What a job to lay out and make the catch. You know, they've got a lead here late in the game, and the play calling, I think, shows you how much confidence they have in this quarterback. He's had a pretty clean game today, and this decision to still throw the ball with the lead shows you that they believe he's going to make the right decisions and make the accurate throws. The dogs are in the red zone. The defense drops him across, but backwards there. A second now behind the sticks now. Boy, this receiver in the slot is giving this defense all kinds of problems. He has another catch on the day. You may want to adjust out, get out of your base, maybe try five or six defensive backs on the field. Somebody that can match up more athletically against this slot receiver. Use the running game to chew on this clock now. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, you have to believe we'd see a timeout. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Takes the handoff. It's ETN. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. It's on fourth down now. Out comes the field goal unit. The distance will be from 38 yards out. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Now, I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense.
So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Bringing it out, it's Brown. Makes it to the 16, that's good coverage there. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. Let's see if they can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. The pocket breaking down. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Well, the defense does a great job here of pressuring the quarterback, but I gotta give the quarterback a lot of credit. Instead of taking a negative play, he shows you his athletic ability and fights out and gets all the way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. To throw, it's Vandegriff. Let's it go quickly. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? The ball is picked off. After a short return, he's tackled at the 18. What an enormous takeaway by this defense. I just don't think there's anything else you can do as a play caller. You've got to be able to throw the ball downfield. you just got to hope that your quarterback and receivers can execute when the defense knows it's coming. Here, the interception cost them. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. Remember, it was a field goal on the last possession. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Trying to find room. It's ETN. Yeah, I like this call here late in the game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy. Just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. First down and goal here. A touchdown just about puts this game on ice. It's the coach's favorite formation. Victory formation. Quarterback just takes a knee. 